Hello. In this video I'd like to show you how you can view your existing data as it is now in augmented reality and how you can do that using FME Server. So today we'll be going through how you can transform your data into XML uh, in an augmented reality schema uh, and how you can publish that as a web service and then how you can uh, create a channel which is an augmented reality channel so that augmented reality devices such as iPhones and Android devices can view that data uh, in, in, in a live view. The first step is to create a workspace that will translate or transform your data from its current format and data model into XML. So we're going to start with some SQLite spatial data. So that's our source data that has points of interest uh, at Safe Software headquarters. And we're going to go out to the text file writer, which is basically allows us to write out XML. And we can put that right on the desktop if we want. Safe uh, HQ.XML. Perfect. Save it there. So we're going from source to destination. And of course, it doesn't do the connection for us because we have to do something in between here and here to get XML. So this is a relational data set. We can do that by bringing down a transformer called the Gineo XML Generator. If I pop that in here I can connect it up and what this transformer does is it simply uh, allows you to convert your relational data to, uh, to the XML. And here we get to pick a title for the points uh, that will appear in the live view. We also get to pick a description and URLs for uh, for a, uh, a thumbnail which will be displayed in, in a uh, live view and also an icon which will be displayed in the map view so when you're just viewing a traditional map and then for more information you can throw in a, a, a URL that can be clicked. Just like that we can give it a run just to verify that it works. And if we open the containing folder we'll be able to look at that and see that we have got some XML and it's in the Gineo augmented reality XML format. Okay, so the next thing is to create the web service and to do that there's a couple steps that I, I do here. The first is I'm going to remove these published parameters which really just allow you to pick the source and destination data sets and we don't want to offer that option so I'm going to remove those. I'm also going to embed this custom transformer and that's the quickest way to get the whole uh, workspace or transformation up to the server without, uh, without having to publish that custom transformer separately. Okay, so in here I'm going to save this. Let's call it uh, SafeHQ Gineo XML, sure, like so. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to publish that up to FME server, just like so. Up it goes. I pick a spot for it. I'm uploading that source data set. You can use a database. You can use any format you choose. I'm going to check on data streaming because I want to stream that XML directly out to whoever or whatever is requesting it. Click publish and now it's up there. So the next step, well it's almost up there. It's up there now. So the next step is to actually go and, uh, and test that out in FME server. So let's bring bring it up here, me server, com, me server, like so, data streaming, a coning, give that a run, and I get back XML. So that's a, a good sign. Now what I need to do next is to actually configure FME server uh, to, to respond to calls from an AR device. And so I am going to go into configure here, I click on show request, which gives me the URL to this service. So here's the URL, like so. I can hit enter again and you'll see it's the correct one. So this is the URL to the, to the XML, to that web service. Now the next step is uh, configuring FME server. So now we're going to configure FME server to respond to Gineo's specific uh, requests for XML. And so we can't just give it the, the, the root directory that we have 
right here because it wants to append some additional things on here such as search and POI or something like that. So we need to m map that URL back to this one. So we do that in two spots. First we come into the web. Well, just to back up here I should say we're in the FME server directory in the utilities directory. So this is the installer directory. Tomcat, web apps, data streaming, web imp. So we're configuring the data streaming service or web application to respond correctly. So I'm going to edit this web.xml file and we can see in here that at the very end we have this little addition to the data streaming service. So I've actually manually typed that in and you would need to do that as well. What it's saying is that any URL that contains uh, Geneo slash star will be uh, passed on to a URL rewrite uh, uh, application and we're going to see how you configure that. So come back now we're going to this new file here called URL rewrite I open that up and this is where the URL rewriting rules come into effect. Uh, I've got a few in here but the one I'm interested in if we if we go back to uh, our workspace here is mapping to this. So safe HQ Geneo XML dot FME, uh, FMW I should say. And so that's what I'm doing here. If I receive a request from uh, the augmented reality uh, device on this URL here it will map to this workspace. So the URL will be rewritten. And so just to show you what that looks like, I'm going to get a request in like so, and it's going to map back to there. Okay, so that's how you set up the rewriting. And then you have to rewrite, uh, restart FME servers, application server, and then this rewriting takes effect. So that's what we need to do to facilitate uh, Geneo adding on this extra piece. We need to do a URL rewriting. So the next step is actually defining the Geneo augmented reality channel. Okay, so here we are at uh, the Geneo site here. And Geneo is one of, uh, I would say, three augmented reality browsers that are quite popular these days. The other being, the others being Layer and Wikitude, I believe is the name of the other one. So I come in to develop and I want to create a channel. So create a new channel, that's what they call basically a web service or, or a layer in uh, Geneo speak, if you will. I've already uh, created an account here, so you would have to go through and define an account. And there's uh, no overhead really, they just send you an email and you agree. In here I've got two channels defined already. Now I'm going to define my own uh, a new channel here. So create a new channel. It says what do you want to call it. So I'll call it Safe HQ um, Headquarters uh, Points of Interest. Something like that. It's a location based channel. I can give it a description. Uh, interesting map of Safe author thumbnail. I can put a thumbnail up if I want. A callback URL. This is the critical link to FME server. So if we bring back that configuration we did, this portion, and more specifically, this right here. This is the link that we need to provide it, the callback URL. We provide it that, and Geneo automatically tacks on this piece here. So that's kind of why we need the URL rewriting. So I'm going to copy this and come back to Geneo here. Enter that in. Make sure I got HTTP, data streaming, Geneo, safe HQ. I don't need the slash. Take that off. And that's pretty much it. I've now defined the channel. Basically give it some very uh, basic metadata give it a callback URL to get the XML from. So now we've defined that uh, channel. The next step is to come in here and to actually uh, click on validate and to go out and validate that XML. So Geneo will perform some testing and tell us whether we have provided the correct interface uh, for augmented reality. The validation uh, of the channel gives you a lot of different information including some optional calls that you may or may, or, uh, may not have uh, passed. But the most important thing is can you contact this interface, this URL, the URL here, and do you get uh, OK values back? And here we can see that they're OK. 
uh, the data that we're turning, the XML we're returning, is well uh, well formed and works. The rest of it uh, is pretty much optional. We can then click Show on Map, which will give us a well a, a map view of, of where our features are. And so here I know that my features are actually located in Surrey, BC, and there I can see them coming up. So what I'm viewing here, just to be clear, is coming from FME Server. So FME Server is providing uh, an XML feed. We've mapped the URL that Janeo is sending over to a workspace, to a service there. And that's all coming from a data set that we had already uh, existing in a SQL spatial format. So if we go back to my channels, the next step really in, in viewing this uh, is to go on to Janeo and this one I think is a private channel right now so you'd have to log in as this user uh, or, or a friend of this user to see the safe headquarters uh, points of interest. Actually it's public, sorry. Let me, uh, th here's an example of a private. You'd have to log in to see this uh, to see this set of points. This one being public you can uh, submit it and then it'll ask, okay uh, I'm gonna make this uh, public, is that okay? Then they go through sort of a verification process to see if uh, if the channel is 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 working well and if the description makes sense and this sort of thing. And then you're going to be able to log in with your Janeo app. If we go to the front page, uh, log in with your Janeo app. So you can see an example of it here. Log in there and then search for safe headquarters and pull up that augmented reality and and see your data draped over the real world. So if we think about viewing uh, all of these different points from our existing data databases and data sets, we might think, well, that seems, you know, maybe we have 4,000 points. That's a lot of information to serve up in one XML file. Uh, if I just step back for a second and go into, into that, uh, click on the validate again, I'll show you how you can actually apply a spatial filter uh, within your workspace, the workspace we built, uh, so that you only get points that are in your immediate area. So rather than getting all of the information from the database, you can simply query out what's most relevant uh, to where you are located and, and provide that back. All right, so if we scroll down here, we can see the call that's being made uh, includes a URL parameter, well, two URL parameters. The first one, L, being the location where the device is at that time. So any device using Janeo will pass that. And also the perimeter uh, that, that you're interested in, so that's configurable by the device. Uh, how much of a buffer do I want around my current location? That gets sent back. So effectively those get sent back to a workspace. And if I flip to uh, a more advanced workspace here, we can interpret those as published parameters. You can see here's the location and here's the buffer distance. So what this workspace does uh, there's a, we publish it up to FME server, uh, the service receives the location and the, uh, the buffer amount, or they call it perim uh, perimeter. We grab in that location, we uh, parse out the location here, we create that point, we buffer that point by the amount that was passed in, so that uh, perimeter, and then we read our information using the, the feature that we've built up, so the buffered uh, polygon around our location. So back to the database that query is sent, and only what uh, what uh, matches that uh, area of interest, only that information gets passed on. So if we have 4,000 features that we could read, this may query out, say, only 25, pass it through. So at that point, uh, oh, here also we have a sampler. Uh, another parameter they pass in uh, from the AR device is how many features do you want to return at maximum? So say you have 1,000 in a very small area. Well, let's maybe only give 100 uh, so we don't over over um, over uh, stimulate the, uh, the the user you know based on them having a lot of points on the screen too many points is confusing and then again we pop it out so then the process is the same you publish it up to FME server and you create the channel in Janeo and uh, and then you view that stuff in Janeo so I hope you enjoyed that uh, how to on using FME server to uh, view your existing data in augmented reality thank you